Hello everybody, Lurks here, welcome to my channel and today it's how to remove the headlight switch on a Volkswagen T5 Transporter or as I like to call it, the beast. I'll show you how to remove it, unplug it and then refit it again. With the headlight switch in the zero position, push the switch inwards then turn it clockwise to put it on the side lights and then pull it towards you and that releases the headlight switch from the small clamps on the inside and then it just pulls out towards you. Be mindful obviously of the cables in the back. On this particular one the cables have got caught up so I'm just going to gently put my hand underneath, push the cable wires up and then it gently pulls out towards you. This is the model number here if you need to order a replacement part. To remove it from the plug, you've got these levers on either side. What you do is you squeeze those inwards and then pull the plug outwards. But this is quite tricky if it's never been removed before. So just take a small flat bladed screwdriver and as you squeeze those levers on the outside, just gently push up with the flat bladed screwdriver and that just helps release it and just move it on its way. Let's just do it on the other side as well. Just very gently, just helps it on its way. And there we go, the plug is now removed. Just going to check the pins on the headlight switch, make sure they're in good order. They should be because it never moves about and there should be no moisture or condensation in there. These are all in tip top condition. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about the fuse box locations and how to check the fuses on your Volkswagen T5 or T6. To put the headlight switch back, it can only go one way on the plug. Push the plug into the back, make sure it's nice and parallel, nice and level. Should just hear it click in. Now with the headlight switch still in the middle on the side, let's just slide it in, push it all the way home. As soon as it goes all the way in, just click it back to the left to the zero and that is now locked into position. Then make sure that you test out your headlights to make sure that they're still working. If it's a replacement one that you've just replaced, again, you're just making sure that everything is working correctly. And i tell you what, I think that deserves a lovely cup of tea. Fantastic. I hope you found that useful. Up here is a video on how to disconnect a car battery safely. And over on this side is a link on how to check your car battery using a multimeter. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.